Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. And today I wanna to show you how to install, set up, and play ColecoVision on your Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 and I am on RetroPie 3.7. I also have a keyboard connected to my Raspberry Pi as well as my PS3 controller and I am connected to the internet. You must be connected to the internet because when we transfer ROMs, we're gonna transfer the ROMs over network. So let's install the ColecoVision emulator. We are going to RetroPie. We're gonna scroll here to where it says RetroPie Setup. And from this menu here, we can navigate with our keyboard. It's a lot easier. We'll go down to number four, which is experimental packages. We're gonna press enter on the keyboard. We're gonna scroll one down or until you find Cool CV. Cool CV is the ColecoVision emulator for the Retro Pi. It runs amazing on the Raspberry Pi 3. We're gonna press enter and you need to be connected to the internet because this downloads the package, installs it. It's very quick, very simple. Press enter. Boom, we're done. We're in we have ColecoVision emulator, cool CV, installed within RetroPie now. Go to cancel, cancel. So we're scrolling through here and we don't see the ColecoVision emulator. That's because we don't have any ColecoVision ROMs installed on the RetroPie. We're going to go to the PC. We're going to install some ColecoVision ROMs over network. Before we go there, I want you to note your IP address. So from the RetroPie menu here, scroll down to show IP. The very top of the middle box will be your IP address. Write that down, take a picture of it, keep it in your head, just in case we can't connect with another method. So we're going to the PC now to transfer some ColecoVision ROMs. We'll be up and running in no time. Okay guys, we're back at the PC here. First thing, obviously you're gonna need some ColecoVision ROMs. I have mine located in a folder on my desktop named ColecoVision ROMs. Now you can rip these yourself or you can just Google it. I'm gonna open this up. Most of the time when you first get your ROM, it will be zipped. I have unzipped all three of my ROMs that I'm going to use, Dig Dug, Donkey Kong, and Donkey Kong Jr. And I placed them in a unzipped ROMs folder inside. So this is what your unzipped ColecoVision ROM should look like. They should be a .col. Some people have had luck using the zipped ones, but I always use the unzipped file. It makes it easier for me. That way I know they work. So it needs to be a .col file. I'm going to snap this over here. I'm gonna open up a new browser window. So my computer already sees my RetroPie. I'm connected to the same exact network on my computer and my Raspberry Pi. If your computer does not see your RetroPie or your Raspberry Pi here, we can just click on this PC, go to the top search bar here and type in backslash backslash all capital retro pie jeez backslash backslash all capital retro pie press enter we are now inside of our retro pie over network and you can see we have a bios configs roms and splash screens now if you cannot get in to your retro pie by using the ret backslash backslash retro pie you can use the IP address that you guys saw remember that IP address that you remembered remember it in your head it took a picture of it boot a few times you could have a new IP address but that's the easy way to get into it so 
if you're using an IP address and the backslash backslash retro pie doesn't work, we'll just go backslash backslash whatever your IP address. So my old IP address for my retro pie a few days ago was 192-168-10-108. We'll click on that and it'll bring you into your retro pie. It will be different from mine. It could be the same, but it's probably going to be different. But I use my backslash backslash retro pie that brings me right in here. I'm going to snap this to the side. We're going to go to our ROMs folder. And inside of the ROMs folder, when we installed the cool CV, the ColecoVision emulator, created a new folder inside of here called Cole CO. Cole CO. We're going to open that. This is where we place our ColecoVision ROMs. We're just going to copy the three ROMs here. They need to be .col. Drag them over. Make sure they're inside of ROMs. Col, C O L E C O. And mine are inside of there now. We are ready to play ColecoVision on the Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. After you come back to the Raspberry Pi, you need to reboot one time after you've installed the ROMs into the Cole CO folder. Press start, quit, restart emulation station. And we're gonna scroll over. We now have a ColecoVision icon within emulation station. We can press X and we have the ROMs that we installed. So in order to start the ROMs, we're going to start Dig Dug. I'm just going to press X on my controller. So here's where you're going to need your keyboard. I use the keyboard to control the game anyway. But from... One second. This screen, I'm going to press 1. That gets me right in to one player novice. I use my arrow keys to navigate and my space for my pump here. And it runs really, really good on the Raspberry Pi 3. Oh God, I'm done. So yeah, arrow keys to navigate. And we're using our space bar for the pump. To exit, we'll press Control Escape. That'll bring us back to the RetroPie menu, the ColecoVision menu. We're going to start Donkey Kong. I will press X on my controller. So if you'd like to play two player, you can just choose number five here on the Donkey Kong game. And the first player will use the arrow keys and space to jump. Up to go up the ladders, obviously. I'm gonna kill the first player off. Up in the left hand corner we have one up, which is one player. The second player should start now, two up. The second player uses the WASD keys and it uses the left tab to jump if you want to play two players here. So our left tab to jump, WASD to move. I'm going to press control escape. And that's it guys. That's how you play ColecoVision on your Raspberry Pi. Running RetroPie. Like I said, this is RetroPie 3.7 with the Raspberry Pi 3. ColecoVision runs amazingly. I've tested several games and I really enjoy playing it. The two player option on the keyboard is a plus, pretty cool. Just remember, first, per first player uses the arrow keys and space as your action. Second player uses WASD keys and tab as your action. That's it guys, if you have any questions, comments, let me know down below or send me a private message. And like always guys, thanks for watching.